As the two largest crypto assets by market capitalization, Bitcoin BTC and Ethereum ETH plus several thousand other coins are competing for new money in a crypto beauty contest, the resurfaced question whether ETH's money once again added fuel to the fire. While the traditional financial world does not consider BTC to be money, many BTC fans are of the same opinion about ETH. The debate surrounding ETH and its use case as money has been thrust into the spotlight once again, thanks to Ryan Selkies, founder of US-based major crypto researcher Masari. Selkies published a mega-report entitled Crypto Thesis for 2021, which has a whole section called, ETH Isn't Money. While some hardcore Ethereans were quick to react to this statement, even some members of Masari's own team do not agree with their boss. However, the CEO stressed that ETH will likely prove to be a terrific investment anyway. A commodity that secures transactions on the world's most valuable computing platform, gas for throttling, staking for processing, and that can be ubiquitously leveraged as collateral within a burgeoning new financial system, is plenty valuable. I love ETH, and I own a bunch, he said. Also, Selkies pointed to Ryan Watkins and Wilson Withiam, senior research analysts at Masari, who just wrote a Bible on Ethereum 2.0, and they disagree with his own report section on ETH, pretty much point for point. Among their arguments, the analysts made the case that on the proof of work POW chain, ETH possesses store of value and commodity properties from its use as money and gas. They maintain that ETH will also possess capital asset properties from its use in proof of stake. They argue, according to them, this combination will provide ETH with an unprecedented combination of attributes from each of the three asset superclasses, capital assets, commodities, and stores of value, respectively. And it may also create a constant tug of war for ETH demanded by each use case, they said. Meanwhile, the debate moved into the Bankless podcast this week, hosted by ETH supporters Ryan Sean Adams and David Hoffman. For their part, the Bankless duo was prepared to defend ETH on each and every one of Selkie's points. According to Adams, Ether is a full market cycle behind Bitcoin. He fielded Selkie's argument on Bitcoin as a dominant player with no rivals versus Ethereum's many competitors, saying that the case is much overstated. What Ether has going for it is, credible neutrality, Adams argued, pointing out that it wasn't funded by venture capitalists or reserved for accredited investors. It's already crossed the gauntlet to become a decentralized network. Even the US Commodity Futures Trading Commission said the two cryptoassets that are commodities are Bitcoin and Ether, said Adams.